What's going on YouTube? Halo here, bringing you an all new Total Warhammer 2 1v1 matchup. So today we are playing some Norska against the Vampire Counts. Now, before we get started here, a lot of people say this is a really bad matchup, and I would tend to agree, but that's kind of why I wanted to showcase this match, because I played Norska into it and managed to come up with a fairly decent build here. I wanted to see what everyone thought. So for army composition, we have the Marauder Chieftain on a Mammoth. He is going to be bringing his Fight or Die, which provides melee attack and leadership. The front line is going to consist of four Marauder Berserkers, a fifth being the Brutes of the Hound. And then our back line is going to have three Norskin Ice Trolls, Fimir Balefiend, Lore of Fire on foot. He is going to be rocking Fireball and Flaming Sword of Ruin. And then we have the War Mammoth with the War Shrine. So this guy is going to be providing us with the Unbreakable ability here which is Giver of Glory. So it provides fire damage and then makes it unbreakable. We will be using that on our Ice Trolls. So for our opponent, the Vampire Counts, we're going to have a front line of four units of Graveguard with two units of Skeleton Spears, one on each flank. He's going to have two units of Crypt Horrors, the Blood Dragon Vampire Lord, who is going to be on horse. So he is going to be rocking um, good old Invocation, Zombie Summons, as well as Wind of Death. Out on his flank, he's going to have a unit of Blood Knights. And then all the way out in the woods over here, we are going to be seeing a Dire Wolf and then Hex Wraiths as well. So don't usually see Hex Wraiths, but a uh, very good unit to uh, kind of try and surprise your opponent if they're not prepared for, like, Ethereal. But uh, fortunately for us, we do have some answers with our fire damage. So getting the ball rolling right away, those guys were hidden out on the flanks, and now they're pushing around. Blood Knights coming around for the flank, so we are going to be shifting over to try and meet this oncoming charge. And uh, yeah, he's going to go ahead and pop a summon right away on the Brutes of the Hound. Not a huge deal for us. These guys should chop him up pretty hard. Oh, forgot to mention the second Hex Wraith out there. But right off the bat, he is going to be doing his summon, and then he's going to be going for a Wind of Death. And I had a little bit of a misclick here, and I wasn't able to move them fast enough, but you can see the effort was made. We're going to charge in with the Marauder Berserkers, and they're going to get straight into the Grave Guard. The War Mammoth of the War Shrine is going to go into the Crypt Horrors, try and put some damage on them early. Norsk and Ice Trolls getting a little bit of a charge with the Berserkers on the Skeleton Spears, kind of shatter them a bit early. More Ice Trolls coming in to go after the Graveguard. Marauder Chieftain is headed straight through, punches a hole through the Graveguard in the center as well. Doing pretty solid work right now. We've got Flaming Sword going down here to provide the Ice Trolls as well as the War Mammoth. Um, some fire damage against these Crypt Horrors. The Marauder Chieftain is just going to be chasing around the Vampire, uh, the Blood Dragon Lord. But around the flank, Hex Rays and Blood Knights are coming in for some rear charges. Going to be trying to bust up our Marauder Berserkers. Ice Trolls are going to be coming back to do a little bit of a counter charge, try and get some damage done on them. And uh, meanwhile, our Fimir Bale Fiend is over here trying to pick away. We're doing some really good damage on the Blood Dragon Lord. But uh, unfortunately, our left side is getting very collapsed on right now. And uh, we are going to be trying to pull over to support a little bit. Norskin Ice Trolls and the Brutes of the Hound doing a very good job of holding up the core. But uh, yeah, again, Blood Knight's coming in. It's going to be very rough. The War Mammoths are going to be reorienting to go after those guys. Marauder Berserkers trying to provide some infantry support. It's a little bit of just a blob engagement. More zombie summons going down. But let's be real, that's pretty typical when you're playing against the Vampire Counts. It's usually a blob. But our War Shrine, as well as our Norsk and Ice Trolls, are doing an excellent job of dealing with these Blood Knights surprisingly quickly. Invocation going down on the Blood Dragon Lord, trying to keep him in the fight, because our Marauder Chieftain is absolutely beaten on him. But uh, Norsk and Ice Trolls get the Flaming Sword pop over here again, which is providing some more AP and fire damage, as well as magic. And those Ice Trolls are going to be going after the Hex Rays, try and push them off of the Brutes of the Hound. Ice Trolls over here doing a very good job of trading with the Crypt Horrors because of this Fire Imbue which gives them that bonus against these guys because they have regeneration and weakness to fire. So pretty pretty fun monster mashup going on. Marauder Berserker is doing an excellent job of cleaning up all the chaff. And again, Blood Dragon Lord just kind of getting bullied around by the Marauder Chieftain. He doesn't really have a Lord that he can goon or try and snipe out with that Heart Piercer. Mammoths have very, very high HP. Ice Trolls do end up getting terrored here, but uh, they are going to be coming back. War Mammoth, War Shrine coming in to try and do some damage on the Hex Rays, as well as the Fimir Bale Fiend trying to support them. More Rally Norsk and Ice Trolls coming through to break some of these Grave Guard. And uh, we were going to pull the Norsk and Ice Trolls away towards the um, Hex Rays, but we do pop Giver of Glory to make them unbreakable and give them the fire damage. Try and get them trading into these Crypt Horrors, and they are doing excellent work right now. Just putting a heck of a beating on with that Fire Imbue. Meanwhile, 
our double mammoths coming in to try and break up the hex wraith blob with the femir support femir uh doing a really good job of just kind of picking away at things he's not very snipeable because we have the mammoths around to support and uh, prevent the bullying from the blood dragon lord war shrine is going to be headed after him to try and put a hurt on if he keeps using invocation he's going to hit that re um, max hp regen cap pretty soon so Norsk and Ice Trolls do end up getting a little bit terrored out here, but Flaming Sword is helping out our Marauder Chieftain in beating down these Hex Rays. Roots of the Hound, unbreakable, continuing to clean up what's left of the Graveguard. Balefiend giving us that Winds of Magic. Norsk and Ice Trolls do come back though, and they're going to be combating these Crypt Horrors some more. Kind of ongoing combat. And we do get the Fireball to land on the Hex Rays, and the Blood Dragon Lord goes down to the War Shrine. With that, it's pretty much GG. Everything begins to crumble out all of our units rally and then we just have to clean up this lone unit of zombies and uh yeah good times good times everybody loves just pummeling down on some some chaffy boy zombies with those ice trolls in there oh yeah that's the good stuff <laughs> that is the good stuff just absolute beat down oh yes but yeah you can see all these corpses back here it's freaking great more ice trolls waddling on over popping that flaming sword of ruin because why not and, and the mammoth that we are inside of oh look at that view what a view oh my guy you are a champ the mammoth's coming in as well just trying to get a little bit of action but yeah that is gonna be that so build worked out pretty well the ice trolls didn't really have too much of an issue with the terror because between the marauder chieftain providing that aoe melee attack and leadership buff and then like Flaming Sword helping them in their engagements against like both the Ethereal and Cryptor units. Plus helping them beat down on the Blood Knights a bit. And the Mammoths just absolutely bullying around the front line. Nothing to pin them. Um, it, it was really good. It worked pretty pretty well. Berserkers, of course, cleaning up all the chaff. Doing really well against these Graveguard. All that really high weapon strength. Immune to psychology. Keeps them going. Keeps them immune to like the fear and terror from Hex Rays and Cryptors. Plus, again, the leadership buffs and melee attacks have these guys just chewing through things very quickly. But, yeah, I really liked how it went. Good build. Um, we kind of forced him to waste his wind to magic on, like, healing. He did a wind of death, which wasn't very effective. Probably wouldn't have used it because it's best against, like, a nice line of armored infantry. But Berserkers are pretty loose formation, so it didn't really do too much HP damage all in all. But, uh, yeah, good game to my opponent. Pretty happy with this build. I'll probably try it a couple more times. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, have you had success with different builds? I know people talk about giants being very good. Um, I just kind of like the mammoth route. A little more HP, a little more punching power, a little more mass and speed. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.